uh, greeting everyone uh, my name is dr muhammad uh, today i'm trying to explain to you how to do calibration for the shimazu gas chromatography mass spectroscope now i will show you uh, the calibration process which is inshallah simple i will show you step by step how to do calibration using already uh, acquisition or run already you have uh, done before so uh, now we will select uh, better to select one peak or one chromatogram which having high concentration to identify all the peaks it's around seven to eight uh, steps we will see each one uh, one by one so already you have the method for the uh, determination or the injection method that you already made for the instrument and now you will do calibration method for quantification after you run your batch like uh, three or four five samples like five standard and one unknown sample you will select one which is having the high concentration uh, standard like we will drag uh, one run to see select it either select or drag it uh, this one already pre-identified before but uh, we will try to delete the quantification and do it again one by one and it will be like the previous run without any identification on the peaks no integration no marks no peaks anything so from the qualitative table we can make like edit and delete the current table we have two options for the spectrum process and the TIC as well now you can see the peaks like this from basically once you finish the acquisition it will show on like this one so now what we will do is beginner you have to select qualitative and then select peak integration select identify or qualitative TIC use the automatic integration and then select auto area put the number of peaks approximately like 100 put more than the expected peaks if you have 70 or 60 80 so better to put 100 make the width this is that the peak will be identified if there is any shifting or something so we can put it as like uh, three seconds so by adding the three seconds this one will identify the peaks and also uh, you might have noise peaks so better to make like elimination or any peaks lower than 200,000 counts will be considered as a noise peak it will not be count with our quantification so anything above the 200,000 is considered as a sample and even in our standard here lower it will be considered as noise press ok now we will open now the integration already done you can see the marks for each peak so from the qualitative table here we will go and try to name the the peaks which is already simple once you make the qualitative we have to do qualitative and quantitative first step is qualitative and then we will convert to quantitative now from the in this table we have the TIC which is already we selected before just to re show you again I will delete it I will do again the same steps from the beginning this is the chromatogram in the beginning if you open the qualitative table you will see everything is nothing there so we will do from the beginning select TIC and make it auto as an auto area the number of peaks will put as hundred the width of each peak will be like three seconds and the noise 200,000 counts press ok now we can see the TIC icon already show inside this TIC tab you can see we have 81 compounds from those this chromatogram only so most of our compounds already or maybe all of them already integrated so now just so we have completed the qualitative part now to complete the quantitative part it's simple just select edit 
select all and then edit register this compounds to the process table the process table here already still empty by making this step we will convert it from this one it will be from the TIC to register to the process table this process table which will be used to identify or name all the, uh, the peaks after you already complete this process table click uh, the, the search and select from the, the search this is the row for only one sample or one name or peak will be named and for to select all or search all the table you make search all it will be automatically named from the library which is already stored from the instrument so the chromatogram having all the the peaks name now when this completed just close the next step to use the wizard which is very simple it's a step by step it will lead you from one step to the other one so we will use the current process table which is already inside the qualitative table so press next here it will show you the number of the compounds which is already 81 which is already from the process table that means we have 81 compound then go to next as I told you it's like sequent this having all the list for the 81 compounds in this stage if you know that any one of this peak is a noise peak just uncheck this one and then it will not be part of our calibration or quantification table but already we have all the peaks so because we're taking care of this one in the previous step so we will go next this is all the information that you need for the calibration by it. just select the area and select the internal or external standard select linear the number of the calibration level and the unit of your final concentration that you want to be then press ok here like you have selected like five concentration you have to state them and at this case we have like one ppm two ppm five and then the fourth one is 10 ppm the last one will be 20 ppm so now this is our concentration here you have to select you have like target ions and how many reference ions do you want the software to be compared the standard generally is two is like enough to be identified for each compound so two reference ion is enough and it's okay it will give you the exact compound or comparable to the exact compound so two is already enough one target ion and then two reference ion in the coming step we will see the reference ion percentage this will see in the uh, second step so now we selected the reference ion next it will show you for the compound number one to all the compounds that we already named before it has which is the the fragmentation pattern for each one if you want to show again it just press here and then you will see it will show you the target ion which is already 112 what is the reference ion have been selected and the reference intensity for each reference ion from the uh, target ion like this one the first one it's having like 56 percent the second one having 22 percent from the target ion and this will be changed and you can check it for each compound for each component we can see if you go one three four fifteen and then you can check all of them and then press say finish once you say finish already they will get all of the information here so we already I saved it before so just to convert to view and this will be how you see it already just I'm showing you so this is why those the points are not on the straight line because it just uh, as a background it's very simple and easy steps just save and close your data file now you already have uh, the patch so any other software patch or anything open just to avoid the mistakenly close everything is related to the same batch and the same method to avoid any deletion by mistake 
so because in this case you don't know which software I will allow to edit and save so better to make everything is closed and then open again for the, the batch and you have to make sure that to do the calibration just a few steps you have to do select the first one as a standard and then you have to select initialize calibration curve this means this will be as initial one the second one it will have just a standard and add calibration level to add the calibration level for all of them so this you completed this part and then you have to sell the software this analysis type as calibration 